Hey everybody, a uh, quick video idea I had here. So we've done some charge tests and, you know, for more of the road tripping style, 15 minute charge, 20 minute charge, different driving speeds, all that kind of stuff. Uh, but this time I had this idea because it happened to me. Um, I am at a low state of charge. I'm at 12% battery right now and I'm running an errand and I'm not I don't think I'm gonna have quite enough energy to finish the errand and get back home without charging somehow. And so, you know, kind of the idea here is, you know, if you're out running errands, maybe you're trying to get to a birthday party, you're trying to get to your kid's concert, whatever, and you're like, shoot, I don't have enough energy for that. I'm going to need to, you know, DC fast charge in town uh, before I get home and, you know, how much would like a five minute charge give me? It's going to be a mix of some, uh, you know, higher speed driving, like, you know, you get on the interstate for an exit or two, uh, also some, you know, side roads, stop and go traffic. Uh, the battery is not preconditioned. You're just running around and you're like, hey, I, I should go charge. So we're gonna do a five minute test so that you know how many miles you can add after a five minute charge. Okay, so we're at the charger now. We're at 11% uh, state of charge here. All right, so we just plugged in here. We're on 150 kilowatt station because my Mustang Mach-E is the standard range battery. Okay, I actually had to move chargers. Uh, I couldn't get this charger to work. And uh, this one's working now. We'll just go until this says uh, five minutes and then we'll stop and see where we end up. All right, so I did not precondition the battery, but uh, it's a pretty good temperature out here. You know, I drove here obviously, and then it's about high 50s, low 60s. So on the standard range um, NCM battery, I don't have the LFP. Uh, that's that's the peak charging speed that the car can do is 115 right there. So we're getting we're getting max speed, which is great. You can see we plugged in at 11 percent, and uh, yeah, once this charging time says five minutes, we'll stop, and then we'll see how far we can go around town. So just to recap, this is a 2022 Mustang Mach-E. It is the premium trim. Uh, standard range battery, NCM battery, not LFP, um, and it's all-wheel drive. Um, I've got about 14,000 miles, getting close to 15,000. So we're a minute in, we're still getting great speed here, at least for this car. All right, three minutes in and we've started to taper off now. So the car tends to sit around high 80s, low 90 kilowatts. You know, I'll also just mention, you know, this is kind of ideal conditions, really. Um, you know, there's really no weather, no snow. It's not too windy. Temperatures are good. It's, you know, high 50s, low 60s. Okay, so fingers ready on stop. There it goes. Okay, so eight kilowatt hours delivered. Got up to 23% state of charge there so we'll get unplugged all right and this is very expensive i do not have electrify america pass plus right now so this cost is you know about as high as it gets really but when you're in a hurry you just want to put a few bucks in the car and move on. All right, so we're back in the car. We got up to 23%. So we'll go ahead and reset this. Okay, so we're a little over 10 miles, 23 minutes into the test here. 18%, so we got 7% left until we hit 11%, which is what we started with. Um, yeah, if you've watched my other videos of doing the highway charge test where I'll charge for 15 minutes and drive at 70 or 80 and see how far I can go. You can definitely tell how much more efficient an EV is uh, around town because you're doing a lot more braking and doing a lot more regen and then just slower speeds in general. All right, we're nearing the test. We're doing some highway in here because 
you know, everybody's in town is going to look a little different. You might have to jump on the freeway for a few exits. You might be doing a lot more bumper to bumper. So hard to say. Uh, we got 1% left to go. We've gone 20.7 miles, a little over a half hour. Our efficiency has definitely dropped. You know, we were in the low to mid four miles per kilowatt hour doing the side streets. And, uh, you know, now that we're on the interstate, it's obviously dropping with the higher speeds. All right, we just hit 11%, 21.6 miles, 34 minutes, 3.3 miles per kilowatt hour. All right, well, we made it back home here. So yeah, pretty interesting result. Um, you know, we delivered about eight kilowatt hours in that time. So obviously depending on your driving efficiency, if you're doing a lot more highway driving, oh, you can hear the Mach-E is uh, cycling some coolant there to get the battery at the good temperature to charge. It, you know, if you're at two miles per kilowatt hour or whatever, that's gonna be 16 miles. And if you're, you know, doing a lot more in-town driving, some side streets, stop and go traffic, you know, you might be in that four, four and a half miles per kilowatt hour, and then that's gonna be, you know, 30 miles, 32 miles of range. So I think it's pretty safe to say you're probably gonna get 20 to 25 miles. And then if you have the extended range Mach-E, or you have the uh, newer Mach-E that has the LFP battery, um, you're gonna deliver even more power because your peak charging speed is 150 kilowatts compared to my 115. So you're gonna deliver, you know, probably a couple extra kilowatt hours there and, you know, add a few extra miles. So anyways, thought that was interesting. There's been times, you know, in a gas car where it's like, oh, I need to get gas real quick. Um, and so, you know, kind of same thing in the EV here, you know, obviously in five minutes, you could probably refill your tank on most, uh, you know, sedans or small SUVs or whatever. But, um, you know, five minutes is still a pretty quick stop. Um, and then you can get on your way. So that was the idea with this. And uh, yeah, thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.